Katie Holmes, the actress and designer, becoming the first ever celebrity face of Bobby Brown Cosmetics a year ago. She's here today with the first ever Bobby Brown celebrity collaboration, Bobby and Katie. But first, I'm going to catch up here. Yeah, Katie Holmes! It was wonderful to see you again. Look at that big smile. <laughs> And why not? We got Bobby over there and John Bear. We're going to talk to them in just a moment and also the makeup lessons. But let's catch up yes. a little bit. You've got so much going on in fashion and you're not you're not quitting your day job either. You're involved in a lot of movies as well. How do you keep it all in balance? Well, I'm you know, it's it's uh, it's so exciting to be working with such wonderful people. I love working with Bobby. I love working with John. I love working with all of the people at Alterna. And I think it's been Wonderful since this is Breast Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month that um, you know everyone can be involved together and I'm you know it's I'm glad that we we're we're getting to do it this week because I'm on my way to South Africa next week to start a film. So with Meryl Streep, yes. tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, I'm I'm really excited. It's uh, Phil Noises directing and it's Meryl Streep and Jeff Bridges and um, it's a beautiful story and. Um, I, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> you'll, you'll leave us wanting more. <laughs> yeah. I love that, but I'm, I'm glad that you're doing that. But you were very busy on Fashion Week. By, by the way, where are my manners? Who are you wearing? <laughs> Who are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing Holmes and Yang, a uh, jacket and shirt. And, um, you know, I, I uh, do this with my dear friend, Jean, yeah. and um, she um, inspires me, and, and we have a really good time doing it. And we had a great time this year at Fashion Week, and we did a, a show at uh, this gallery close to my apartment in Chelsea, and it was we, great. We do see you out and about so much. You and can't keep me in. I know, we, can't, we don't want to, but <laughs> how has it been? What was the best part of being here in New York and, and being on your own this time in your life? What's the best part of it? Um, you know, I, I've, I've always loved New York, um, especially this time of year because it's, it's still warm and you get to, I just love walking around mm -hmm. and being inspired by people. And, you know, it was great to see you last week mm -hmm. and, you know, go to that amazing luncheon. There's so many wonderful people in this city and they're right there like, right here yeah. and so you can you know two hours of having lunch with people and it's you're filled with so many ideas so will you, will you make yourself so very approachable well let's let's take a little walk shall we great over here to Bobby and John wonderful partnership you all have talked about Bobby and how much uh, working together that you don't look at her as the, the celebrity face but more of a partner a partner and you know Katie's a real working mom like you working woman and for all of us we need all the help we can get all right so John I have been working with Katie but I also have been doing oh, these ladies um, yes. I'm gonna reveal some oh now this. Well, we had to show the before. Oh, there's, there's, the before. Whoa, whoa. there's the before. There's the before. Yeah. And, and we have to say that all of these lovely ladies are also breast cancer survivors all, wearing their pink. All yeah. breast cancer. What did you do, Bobby? What did well, you do, John? First, you know, for any for any woman to feel good, you know, it's really important. And moisturizer, corrector, concealer is number one because when when you are tired, when you feel tired, you don't want to look tired. So corrector, concealer, and mascara. The secret. Because we hate it when people say, oh, you look tired. Uh, That's a color right. for you. You want to look, you look healthy. That's always you a nice want. way of saying it. And a nice pink blush. All the girls got this amazing I pink blush. That. And that's because because how do the proceeds don't go to breast cancer? Ten dollars of everyone goes goes to the Breast Cancer it's Foundation. And this wonderful. color works on every skin color. It surely does. Well, you look beautiful. And I'm so you know, glad we that had you're doing to, well. Uh, well we, uh, her daughter and I had to argue with her because I love her big fro, <laughs> right. but she made us cut it down. Uh, she made me make it oh, flat. Thank you. Sorry. Um, she looks amazing. Beautiful. It shows her face. It so does. Let's move on. Let's move mm -hmm. on. We have the before picture. The before picture. And now, after, yeah. 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 You Now, the great first, thing here is that it's like after people go through chemotherapy, the quality yes. of their hair changes so dramatically. And so, not... Now I've cut her hair so that it's easy and smooth again because wow. as you know it, it gets all crazy. It's beautiful. So. And Bobby? And a really important thing when women are either, you know, tired or going through, you know, getting better from an illness, moisturizer. You need to really plump the skin and again blush. Pink mm -hmm. blush makes every woman pretty. Every woman. Oh, and blonde so highlights around the face are Doesn't always hurt good. Doesn't hurt either. And now our final beautiful model before 
and spin it around. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Again, we were coloring here at 5 a.m. and it's always a great time to do things. And using the alternative products, we have got each of the hair is just so moist and that's kind of crucial. To have really good condition hair, uh, you're gonna look great. And eyebrows, I wanna really point out that as women lose their eyebrows, in order to fill them in, eyeshadow works the best. And you can also use eyeshadow to define the eyes. And eyebrows and eyelashes just give definite Definition that makes every woman beautiful. Well, Bobby and John, thank you so much. And again, these three beautiful, beautiful women have all gone through breast cancer, and you're not survivors, you're thrivers, and, and appreciate that very much. Please. The moment your hair starts growing in, throw away the wig because it's like your face is always more important. You are speaking to the choir, baby. You're there speaking you to the choir. Throw away the wig the moment and it Katie, starts growing. Katie, you've really aligned yourself with some wonderful, wonderful yeah, people okay. here, haven't you? Yes, thank you. I, and I love, I love working with Alterna. I love working with Bobby. It's uh, and, and having opportunities to get to know these three women. Um, it's so inspiring. Yeah, well, and you're beautiful all aren't they? on the inside. It's just, you're glowing. And I love how we said they're not makeovers, they're makeup lessons. Right. Just yeah. accenting updates. what is updates, updates. what's yeah. there all together. It's about Will you? being your best self. That is it. That's it. Well, yep. Bobby, John, Katie, wonderful to see you. Always welcome. Thank you. Thank you.